All right, Joey Stroop here, your bike man performance. Today we have the RS1 stock engine on the dyno. I'm gonna show you the setup that we got going and then we're gonna go into some dyno runs for you. Just to let you know, we got uh, fresh air coming in, hot air going out. We have a uh, full exhaust system down here that goes up and out. Uh, we measure the amount of air going in it. We measure the amount of fuel going in. Uh, we measure wideband AFR. Uh, engine right now is sitting at 179 degrees. It stays pretty consistent off uh, that cooling tower over there. So let's go into some runs here. So this would be stock runs. We're running uh, from 60, 750, to 8800 and uh, the reason we stop at 8800 the factory rev limit is at 8800 so I'm going to show you what this thing does in stock form and then in some future videos I'll show you what it does uh, with our performance upgrades. So this is corrected horsepower right here. that stopped for part of the run so I'll uh, get that back up for you but we can see it in this chart right here so that one there peaked out at uh, 119.6 at 8600 that's the highest uh, horsepower that engine made at 100 and, uh, 180 degrees or so so and you can see peak torque it's quite low. You kind of have a little bit of a, a spike where the dyno grabs it, but let's just go off of this main one right here. So our peak torque happens at 7,700. Peak horsepower happens at 8,600. So let's go into a few more runs here. And once again, this is the uh, 2019 RS1 Polaris. recording actual AFR and wideband AFR and you can see right at the end there uh, that 8800 is where it will not go past with a stock tune so on that one we did uh, 119.4 at 8700 and uh, peak torque it's kind of anywhere from 7,500 to 7,700. So that tells us that we're going to want the clutching to come up to that really quick and then run out to your horsepower because that's where your peak torque is. It doesn't hurt you to load on your peak torque, but then you want that to slowly climb to your peak horsepower. So we'll go into another run here, and then that'll be about it for the. RS1 is running real consistent. Did, did peak uh, 120, uh, 120.3 and 8700 and peak torque happened from anywhere from uh, you know 7400 to not quite as high when the engine was hotter but it did did make one horsepower the RPM did carry out better so uh, that's uh, 2019 RS1 Stay tuned for all our uh, future videos or 
more videos that I, I'll release with uh, header and, and other uh, performance components on there.